They posted a new trailer for Masters of the Universe Revolution the other day. November 10th, actually, to be exact. And nobody is talking about it. Now, I remember when the first Kevin Smith Masters of the Universe series dropped trailers. It trended. It trended on Twitter, and it pretty sure it trended on YouTube. Lots of people were talking about it. A lot of good faith in there with the community. People excited about it, speculating, and then it came out, and it wasn't even about He-Man. <laughs> it was a huge disaster. Now this one's coming out, and no one seems to care. All of that goodwill that you could have had, gone. Gone completely. I think this is going to be a ratings disaster. I don't think anyone's going to watch this. I think it's going to be bad for Netflix. And it's yet another example of a series that has been incredibly damaged by stupid creators. So, this trailer, there's two places. There's first this one. Over on Netflix. Three days ago, 282,000 views. That's really low. To compare that, and it's it's not entirely fair to do this because this one's really old, so more people would have watched it over time. But to compare, here is the official teaser for the first series. Nine million views. Think about that. Nine million views for this teaser trailer that came out. Because this is the same thing. This is the first teaser trailer for Masters of the Universe Revelation. This is how excited people were for that series when it came out. It's like, oh, He-Man, front and center, the entire trailer. Never forget that. Because He-Man's in the entire trailer again, this one. They literally took the first five minutes of the show and made it look like He-Man was going to be front and center in the entire thing. And that wasn't the case. Of course, we know now that it was Tila. Uh, she was the real hero of the show, not He-Man. He was barely in it until the end, and then he was still kind of turned into a side character. Nine million views. Okay, two years ago. Do you think it got all of those views over not over two years? No. It got the majority of, of those views when it first came out. And then you see this one. This one, three days ago. Nobody's watching it. That's how much goodwill was killed by Kevin Smith lying and turning this show into a bait and switch. And now I wonder uh, who this is. So that's Hordak right there. Is that She-Ra? Some people in the comments speculating that this is She-Ra right here. Wouldn't that be another bait and switch? Oh, it's a He-Man show. I think not. It's She-Ra, who is canonically his, his twin sister, I think, in the original series, which this is based on. So, is She-Ra going to show up? Now, this is speculation, right? I'm not, I don't know if this is true. I just saw people speculating about it, and honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, I wouldn't be shocked if she shows up and takes over this whole damn show. He-Man's in this whole trailer. Guess what? He's probably not the main character. He's probably not the main character. Sorry. Uh, Kevin Smith, I just don't see him doing that. He's going to cater to the people that aren't really fans of things as usual. But I just find this funny. 282K compared to millions of views for that first teaser trailer. That's pathetic. When you go to the post over on Twitter... Everybody's saying the same shit. Here's uh, author J.A. Douglas says, Not this time, Kevin. You burned that goodwill away permanently. I think that's how most people feel about this. All that goodwill, gone. Gone. Uh, maybe this is it. Maybe this is all He-Man. Could be actually really cool. Guess what? A lot of people aren't going to come back for it. 
I just find it funny. Like, is this bait and switch again? Because you got He Man and Battle Armor, all kinds of shit. Like, this isn't it. Like, there it is. Battle Armor He Man, right? He's all over this teaser trailer. He's all over the YouTube trailer. And no one's buying it this time. You did this to yourself, Kevin Smith. I think this is going to have disastrous ratings over on Netflix. I don't think anyone's going to watch it because no one's going to fall for it this time, just like Douglas is saying here. Here's another one. Picture him crying. Bait and switch season two. Like, no no one's buying this shit. Look at this for another example. This is one month ago. They actually shared a first look, five or two-minute scene of He-Man trying to go and get uh, some stuff from Skell, uh, what's his name, Skelly Glow or something? Scare Glow from Scare Glow. Not even a million views on this. This is from a month ago, 530K. This is a disaster. And, you know, here it is again. Nine million views two years ago for this teaser trailer. Official teaser. Fast forward to the new one, official teaser for the new series. Nobody's watching it. That's a disaster, ladies and gentlemen, of epic proportions. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.